What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? I am back with the get back. See what's in the energies before I call it a night. Oh, <laughs> oh before I call it a night. All right, I'll be out like a light. All right, we're going to start with the moon card. See what the moon knowledge you got to say real quick before I start it off. See what's the energy, see what we're laying, see what, you know, advice you need to take right now. Okay, communication is the key. Gemini 9. Big 3, North Note. Kind of expert in the chart. Communication is key, and the end of two cycles is approaching, okay? Capricorn, Big 3. How last better in your chart. North North. Okay, so y'all need to communicate. I feel like a lot of people is um, in their head and nobody's talking. Okay? And some is talking, is communicating, but not saying what they really mean. They still kind of like ain't really expressing what you really mean. Okay? People assuming instead of like just communicating. Okay? It's key. End of tough cycles is approaching, so gotta worry about that. Confidence is the key to success. So I see keys to keys twice. Leo. Ooh, new moon in Leo, but we in a full moon in Leo, okay? Confidence is the key to success. Have confidence in what you're doing. Okay? Don't say get yourself. And we got, you are good enough. Are good enough. Virgo, big three, north note. Holly Espedes, same for Leo. Big three, north note. Holly Espedes. So, so far, and y'all probably got all this in your chart. Some of y'all probably got all this in your chart. Gemini, Capricorn, Leo, Virgo. Conclusions are within reach. I feel like you've been dreaming it and you can't get it, okay? It's within reach. One more. One more. If I go to the record. No, I'm just playing. My cards might not be ratchet. Let me see what energy I get out of. One more moon card. Mooney, woony, woony. Show the world the real you. All right. Aquarius. Okay, big three. North note. Holla expedit. Okay, so we got Gemini, Cap, Leo, Virgo, Aquarius. Communication is the key. End of tough cycles is approaching. Confidence is also the key. You are good enough. Conclusions is within your reach. And show the world a real you and stop playing with us. You feel me? Get it in where it fit in. All right, let's see. What else I get? Oh, I call it a night. I'm sorry. I keep saying it. doesn't make no sense. Ooh. Somebody getting laid off. Some of y'all going through some layoffs. Some of your job going through a layoff. Okay. Cutting, cutting costs and stuff. So some layoffs. Someone... Never had the kids out every weekend. I feel like somebody keep promises to get the kids on the weekend. They never do. They always come with excuses. Okay, we got some that always send them to their mom's house on the weekend so they can go out. We got something about a co-worker. Okay, and I feel like somebody else be um out every weekend like on like game like gambling or some sort. Probably on the slot machine, playing bingo type shit, playing cards, you know, tunk at a look house somewhere. Okay, we got co-worker and child. Co-worker and child. Elevated. Okay. Someone low-key getting ghosts from everybody. So somebody been elevating, they've been low-key getting ghosts from everybody. You hear me? Someone's in love with somebody else, too. Mm, 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 mm. 
Got STD. Did somebody get somebody STD? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, we got in love with somebody else in STD. Please don't go. Okay. I feel like somebody, ooh, ooh, not the daddy, wife, okay, sprung, okay, I feel like somebody was in love, somebody's in love with somebody else because the person they with, okay, this is supposed to be somebody's wife, somebody they with, then already gave them STD, right? They probably forgave him for that shit. Because they already knew, that's how they knew they stepped out on him. Or maybe they both were stepping out so he didn't really know where that shit came from. But I don't know. I feel like somebody gave this person an STD. And they forgave him for that shit, right? Even though I would have been like, mm -mm, if you give me that motherfucker, that means you raw dog and somebody, but still. So, and then this person telling them, please, not to go to, because not only they gave him an STD, Maybe they didn't even know they were sleeping around with somebody else. It made them question their child. <laughs> like, how long you been stepping out? Like, they was catching up with their lies. And they found that they ain't even the daddy of the child. That's why. And the wife, they, they, they know they can't, you know what I'm saying, make up for that. Maybe the wife was out every weekend, never home with the kids. And then when they had sex, she brought home home on STD. Then he found out he ain't even the fucking daddy of these kids. Or kid got child. Wife. And this person even not even a daddy. So not only this person gave him an STD, they had somebody else's child had them raising them. Okay. Oh my God. Somebody wife. Damn. Then we got sprung. Somebody sprung. Don't know how to love. They are fascinated with you, but this person don't know how to love. They wouldn't even know what to do with you. Somebody have substance abuse. Somebody wrote a check that ass couldn't cash. All right. Home cooked meal. Don't trust them. Somebody will check their ass and cash. And somebody, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Don't trust somebody meal. Somebody's going to try to cook for you. But don't trust them. Okay. They're going to try to put some in that food. Okay. If I can go back. So somebody trying to do some type of spell. I feel like somebody being like interested in spirituality, but they been into the other shit like the love spells and the potions and shit like that. And they gonna try that shit on you, okay? Somebody gonna try that shit on somebody. Maybe somebody, you know what I'm saying? Somebody wish they can go back. Thought box, okay? I feel like when I see this thought box, I'm getting like somebody who used to have a lot of niggas. Okay. But, and they, she didn't really have no feelings for them. She used them, but she ran across a real one. And, you know what I'm saying? They wish they can, you know, they wouldn't have treated you like that because you was different from the rest. The rest don't want to hit no shit. They just wanted something from her. So she took something from them, but you, you was real genuine. Okay. You kind of. Kind of like change this person world a little bit, okay? We got handsome. Somebody's handsome. Yeah, baby mama watching your social media. So your baby mama watching somebody this handsome person social media, keeping track, trying to max this person energy, saying two can play this game, playing tick for tack. Okay, talking about you and behind your back. Okay. To their baby daddy. They're talking about their baby daddy. See, your baby mama's watching their baby daddy shit. Or baby daddy, vice versa. Get it what it fit in. We got sexy and psychic. 
either maybe they're the sexiest hell psycho. We got handsome. Said watching somebody handsome, watching this handsome person social media. So this might be the baby daddy watching the baby daddy social media, and this person sexy as hell, handsome, psychic. You feel what I'm saying? And maybe that's the one that's going to try to get into the spirituality and shit. And trying to get potions and sit and trying to come to you like, yeah, I have grown and I didn't heal. And I believe in forgiveness. I, I would love to make you, you know, a dinner for, you know, to comprehend what I, you know, for a peace offering or some shit. To get you back in with, you know what I'm saying? Get in with fit in. It's crazy. Trying to match your energy. To play this game. But it was in you. I feel like that's part of your life path. That's part of your um neurology number and everything. This person playing games. Maybe they was your karmic past life or something. Same with the wife. Some, so some of y'all breaking free from people that y'all didn't want to be um dealt with. And with the thought. I mean, the baby mama, I don't know. She the one in the thought box. Goddamn, somebody changed the thought box life by being a, treating them like a, a, a real woman. You know what I'm saying? You know you knew there was a thought. Okay? Anywho, we got masculine, toxicity, bound to patterns. So some masculine is, is got some type of toxicity going on. They're bound to doing the same damn patterns. Doing the same shit, playing the same games. Okay, we got attraction and hot Mars. Somebody got attraction, but they ain't saying shit. Somebody got a real attraction over you, but they ain't saying nothing. They ain't no action, not saying nothing. They just watching. Okay, two or more people discussing and planning. You got people talking. Maybe him or somebody else talking about it. Maybe they tell, talk to somebody about how you, they feel about you. Or whatever this attraction they have for you. So, maybe discussing it. Oh, you got some people that's discussing you you don't even know. But I feel like somebody's trying to work something out so it can work better for you. So something can kind of benefit you. And I feel like you still got two people discussing you. Maybe both of them talking about two people talking about your attraction. Men or women. Get it in with a feeling, okay? We got limitations and fears. Okay? Somebody got limitations and fears and healing inner child. Okay, somebody got to heal their inner child for them to get past these limitations they think they have. Or these blockages they think they have. Some of y'all getting a renewal and a spark. Somebody's being hunted by their childhood. Some something about their childhood is haunting them. That's why it's hard for them to heal it. But they have to heal it, get this renewal and, re and the spark. I feel like somebody um lost a child, but they about to reincarnate in the other in another baby they having. I feel like someone's having another baby and their child that they lost is about to reincarnate in that baby. I feel like somebody feel like they're being haunted, but really spirit is trying to give you a message. I feel like somebody feeling hunted, but they don't even understand they, their gifts is heightening. Or they are, are mediums or something. They don't know. We got change, changes, completion, cycle. Somebody completed a cycle. Let me see. Somebody clean. Okay, somebody, y'all going through some type of completion. Y'all starting some new shit. Y'all doing new things, new environments. New 
associates, friends, but you got people in the external, people you used to hang with, people you don't deal with, they're watching you from the outside. Okay. They probably still on your, you know, certain sites, you know what I'm saying? And when you post to something every blue moon, you know what I'm saying? Because they haven't seen you. You didn't change the environment. You didn't change who you are. You didn't change, you know, who you, you know, surround yourself with. And they see you, you know what I'm saying? And you ain't really stunting these people because I guess not. And to the point, you ain't stunting them so bad. You ain't even bothered to, like, delete them, block them. Hell, you forgot they was on your certain sites with you. You feel me? Because you didn't gain so many new followers or so many new, you know, people that you ain't been focusing on these people. But they've been watching you. They watching some side-eyeing you. They discussing you. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they're like, this person, they all that, because they, they're, like, they're acting different now. I don't know. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I remember when they used to, you know what I'm saying? Somebody looking at you, but really they kind of like, hey, and that's all, that's all. And mad that you won't associate yourself with them no more, they won't talk to them, won't acknowledge them, none of that. Okay, we got some past happenings in history. It's past happenings in history. Ooh. We got North Note, Cosmic Purpose, and we got Plugged. Somebody plugged in, tuned in, connected. It's hell. Past history. Excuse me. You part of history. Some type of history. This shit happened in the past history. You completed a cycle. You you changed the history, your past histories, but you like in your North Note, like fully North Note, cosmic purpose, tuned in and connected. Okay, some about the internet, some about your life, your son, your strength and your empowerment. The internet, maybe somebody watching on internet. Okay, you seem so free. You feel like you got it's like you got freedom. You leaping out to these opportunities. You taking a chance. You know what I'm saying? We got you running this. You taking that chance. You doing what you gotta do. You feel so I don't know, carefree or just free like some weight's been lifted off your fucking shoulders. Somebody had some pack and you probably had some past lacks and sufferings. With a twin flame who is still stuck on their soft note, or when you was in your soft note, maybe somebody was clingy over a twin flame. Okay, a twin flame stuck in their soft note in their comfort zone, but some had to balance out. We had to balance out the karma, somebody getting justice, and somebody getting karma. Or you had to balance out your karmic lessons. Something was forbidden. Something was tragedy. Forbidden love. It was real tragedy. I feel like you really wanted it. I don't know. For some of y'all, if you had twin flames. I feel like y'all really had love for them. But something was forbidden because it's like y'all was on two different energies. Okay, I think that person was just there to cross your path to waking you up. To set, you know, to set the scales right. You feel what I'm saying? For you to be where you at right now, like freedom. You know what I'm saying? Feel like you came across them so you can elevate. So it can shake up something in your life. So it can awaken something in you. Okay? But you had a decision to stay where... In the south note or rise up to your north. And that hurt made you rise up to your north. Okay, we got something about family, home, and commitment. Temptation, deception. It was a lot of deception in this family commitment. Maybe somebody was in a relationship they ain't supposed to be in. Maybe they may 
trying to make something last with something that's supposed to last. Okay. I get this. What is these damn kids doing? We got memories and nostalgia. Somebody thinking about what they did. Somebody thinking about a deception they did. Some type of temptation they did. Somebody obsessed over somebody. Somebody have some type of obsession. Must have. So I feel somebody is with somebody, but they must have you too. Type shit. Mm-hmm. Somebody with somebody and still, but won't you? They with them, but mine was on you. What type of mess? Wanting you obsession a little bit. Okay. We got contract, career, commitment. We got an unexpected storm coming. Somebody trying to fuck with somebody's career, commitment, contract, and commitment. But a storm coming. Somebody about to have regret for that. Somebody holding back their feelings too. Some of y'all might get a message traveling, some type of communication. Somebody gonna want to express themselves because they, I don't know, maybe they're gonna write it out to you, mail it to you. Maybe they're gonna try to put it in a song. Maybe they're gonna sing you a song. So you get some type of communication with Mercury. Okay? In the present, now in the moment. Yeah, I might get some type of message in your dreams. Some type of sign. Divine feminine. Someone's in denial, okay, not trying to face the truth, okay? Somebody getting telepathic dreams and songs. I see somebody trying to send a message in that type of way, a song, dreams, <laughs> telepathic. This person is finding their ways to try to lose. Send to you how they feel. Hold on, y'all. My bad, y'all. These kids gonna make me choke them the fuck out. But anywho, we got pressure cooker. Somebody is ready to explode. Is it me? Okay, ready to explode because you like done with this shit. Completed. It ain't no second chances, no nothing. Lesson have been learned. Feel me? They have regrets, but you learned from this shit. Okay? You on your north note, they still on their south note. Okay? They waited too late. You found you didn't form some structure, some type of structure and solid foundation. Okay. Mm, divine masculine. So some of y'all divine masculines finally found some um, form of structure and foundation. Okay, you got a new beginning, action, courage to do something. Okay, let's shift this. Yes. I like this shit, honey. You had an autumn harvest. You threw some shit out. You discarded some shit. Cut off some people. Getting fulfillment and wishes. Okay. Somebody about to line up with Divine Masculine. I'm trying to tell you because the seed been planted for the spring, bro. It's going to sprout. And I already said the seed been sprouting. Okay, y'all got chemistry and passion. Oh my shit, somebody been doing the work. Okay. Somebody getting chased. Somebody got um somebody got maybe somebody trying to find somebody to send them a warrant or some type. Because somebody about to have some legal issues, court file papers. Okay. Oh, somebody about to be locked down. Somebody been behind on some shit. Somebody about to get served. Somebody about to get served some papers about something. They're going to have to go to court. Okay, somebody in the mental prison can find. Somebody chopped in their head. Maybe because they don't know this could either, like, cause them to go to jail if they don't play the cards right. Okay, somebody feel chained, weighed down, anchored. 
it's like damn like every time it's like they ain't see this shit coming Somebody, I don't know, maybe somebody let go knew some shit about them and they kind of like ratted them out or try to, like, I don't know, this seemed like some, they didn't see this shit coming or some shit they did came back on them when they least expected. Okay. Maybe they thought they were going to be found or the shit was over. But somebody, I don't know, got bounty hunters. Maybe they um missed a court date. Somebody getting served. Somebody got to go to court. Somebody maybe they're going to be locked up until they go to court, okay? Somebody chained down right now. Somebody in lockdown right now. Since they can't never find them, can't have them out to have a responsibility to go on their own, and they keep skipping it, they got to stay in there until it's court date because they don't know how to come to court when they need to. Somebody got happiness and wholeness and overjoy and smiling. Oh, somebody triggered by your happiness too. They even triggered somebody to say your name and everything because why they've been pretending, acting like living beyond their means or acting like they had something on damn well they ain't got it. And you really like, you just shining. Just your happiness is showing it all is speaking loud of that material shit they have that they can't barely afford. Or the material shit they picked to buy over the bills they should have paid for. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, mad cause you smiling, they mad cause they think they drip when they still ain't happy on the inside. They still miserable, upset, sad. But they look good though. Look at my drip, my drip, look at my style. Okay. Ooh, somebody trying to bar bargain big, okay? Somebody feeling closed in and trapped and frustrated. Somebody begging for mercy. I'm begging for somebody to help them out in some type of way. They're feeling closed in and trapped. I feel like somebody getting caught up in some shit. Okay. Some of y'all guarded from this type of person. You ain't dealing with them. Maybe somebody begging for you back. Maybe somebody begging for your help or some type of way. Somebody needing you after they try to, like, like discard you and try to, like, play you. But they begging now. Somebody frustrated, feeling trapped. Maybe you try to tell somebody something they ain't want to listen. Okay? Maybe they try to, when you try to tell them the truth, maybe they said some hurtful words and shit and, like, di like dissed you and, like, like, we ain't friends no more, or don't talk to me, and now what you said came out, and now this person, like, feeling, like, trapped. They are very vulnerable right now. Okay, somebody having a system with spirit. System with spirit. Spirit probably told you to want to warn this person, they ain't want to listen. Okay. We got disharmony, triggered, conflict. Somebody triggered. Emotions coming and going. I don't know. It's giving me like you predicted something to somebody and then and then they don't know like if you make that happen because it's funny how it happened exactly what you said and they're thinking like you pursue it, but they really, and they hurt, so, you know, they're at the blame game, like, who did it, it's your fault, this didn't work, you jinxed us, or, you know, stuff like that, okay, somebody want more, somebody want more, somebody having a realization, having awareness, finding out shit coming to the light, then it's coming with an offer, Hey, some of y'all probably putting some self-love within yourself. Some of y'all about to make a decision. Please make the right decisions about somebody because somebody putting on a facade. They got faded belief. Okay, they're trying to play as your soulmate. All right, have you in some type of entrapment. Mm-mm.
Don't trust it. Don't trust it. Trying to act like a um some type of friendship or some type of kindred soul. They ain't part of your blood ties. This person's not part of your blood ties. Or you're in a circle. It's just love, sexual chemistry. They're trying to absorb some energy. Because you didn't have a rebirth in the winter. But you know your self-worth. So you ain't going to let that shit phase you. You could be this water sign. The person who's trying to, like, got this lust fulfilling over you is a water sign. Okay? Person wants you to have some empathy for them. So they can have, like, a breakthrough. You know what I'm saying? Get a piece of some glory. Some of y'all dissing and retreating yourself from somebody. Somebody distanced. Maybe some of y'all, somebody distanced had a time out and you got people talking about it. You got somebody that's petty and jealous and envious of you. Somebody stuck in their thoughts, isolation. TikTok time running out. Somebody about to run out of time with you. You got somebody gossiping, talking about somebody separation. We got journaling. Some of y'all been writing, keeping notes, typing maybe. You know what I'm saying? Third eye starting to activate. So maybe y'all journaling about this experience and awakening the experience you have. Y'all done released and surrendered and purged. And somebody rejecting. I mean reflecting. Or you reflecting on some things. Okay. Especially you reflecting and seeing what type of energy you project when it come across people or yourself. Because you didn't, re like, surrender and purge and, re and release yourself, like, released a lot of shit. Okay? That's why you have a clear clarity. It's like you are really doing the fucking work to get a clear mind. You got Archangel Michael protecting you. So you being protected right now as you go through this awakening and your little, you know, self-discovery. You journaling and stuff. Okay, Venus already giving you an offer, so you might bring this self-love towards yourself. Okay. You want to reflect what you project out to the world. You want to make sure it's all, you know what I'm saying? You really like having self-time with self. You feel what I'm saying? You're really trying to discover self. And you got the angels and stuff watching over you. Okay, you really tapping into some gifts. A lot of people going to be like, I don't know, you changed up so much. People going to think you doing stuff. People going to think you different. People going to think you uh, worshiping something evil or whatnot or whatnot. But you really going through your own awakening, okay? Or another awakening. Get it in where it fit in. I hope this helped. Watch your thoughts. Treat others like y'all like to be treated. And don't be so judgmental. All right, y'all. Peace. Bye.